What up brothers from another mother, this is Bosnian 4083 bringing you a search and destroy gameplay on Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. This is a really old gameplay, but it's a really good gameplay. I got a really good score in it. Um, I use the gamertag Bosnian Xbox 360 in the game. This is uh, on my old account. That's when I sold my Xbox and then I got a new one in the summer and I made uh, my new account Bosnian 4083. And I got a game on terminal using the intervention extended mag, extended mag with the Arctic camo. The reason I shot through this wall right here uh, was because there's like a wall bang spot right there, but I didn't have MJ, and I just was trying to go for a clip, most likely. But I was having fun this game, and I got a good score somehow. I have no idea. It was just, I just got lucky, maybe, but. I had really fun playing this game because this is a game where I quick soap a lot. Like majority of my time was quick soaping, but then there was those times where like the other team would go really try hard and I'd get pissed off and then I'd pull out my ACR or my scar and just uh, go try hard mode because I kind of hated getting killed by air support over and over again. Um, I love shooting that roof because there's a red barrel and I there's usually somebody up there. Nine percent of the time there's somebody up there and you if you kill if you explode that and it'll kill them if they're close to it most of the time they are uh guys i wanted to talk to you about some news the nfl lockout uh it's over thank goodness because i really wanted to see the nfl season because uh my favorite team well kansas city chiefs because that's i live in kansas city though it makes sense I uh, just want to see them go to the playoffs and try to win a Super Bowl because I I'd, I'd, I'd make them really happy because I just wanna want to see my team go to the Super Bowl. Yeah, uh, football. I've been watching it for a really long time, but I don't really like it that much because uh, I like basketball more. That's called like my sport. I'm pretty tall, six foot three, and I know most people like. Well, do you play basketball? What do you what do you practice? Like, do you practice for baseball, basketball? Because they say, because how tall I am, they assume I play basketball, and I do, because it's really fun. I like it, and I'm glad that lockout's over, because I can't. I and because I can't wait till the NBA season again, and I, I don't know, but what's gonna happen with the NBA? Because they're in a lockout as well, <laughs> and I don't know what's going on with sports these days. It's just lockout after lockout. Can anybody like, get along and? Not go into lockout and think like not to be greedy because I think most of the owners are greedy, but it makes sense they want more money because NFL is getting more and more popular, and they're making more money than they did before, and they don't know what to do with that. And the owners think they deserve more, more, more money than the players, which kind of makes sense. If it wasn't for the owners, the players wouldn't have a job or a stadium or or anything. Um, or any fan support because the owners started everything and the players just play for them But then again if there wasn't the players people wouldn't enjoy the game or watch it because you need entertainment Uh guys, I came back from my trip to Europe. I went to Bosnia. I was born there and uh, That's my home country you could say so I uh, got back yesterday around 6 o'clock 730 yeah, 7.30, yeah. I got, I got confused. Uh, we left Chicago at 6 o'clock and got here at 7.30 because it's an hour and a half, hour and a half flight. So, I got I was really tired. I fell asleep like, really early, but I woke up at 7 because I don't think I'm used to the time yet. Because uh, they're in Bosnia. It's a, they're 7 hours ahead of us, so that's probably why I woke up so early. And I, I wasn't tired, surprisingly, even though I was all yesterday I was traveling. I went from Sarajevo, Bosnia, which is the capital of uh, Bosnia, and I, we just went on flight after flight. Like we went on a flight from Bosnia at uh, well, our flight was at I think 5:30 or 6 o'clock. We woke up at 2:30 and uh, got dressed and ate and brushed our teeth and all that stuff, and then we started we started driving uh, to Sarajevo because I live in Zenica, and that's like an hour and a half drive to Sarajevo, the capital. And we had to drive over there, and by the time we got there, it was like around 5, and then we had to check in and all that stuff. By the time we got there, they were boarding already, so uh, we checked in our bags and got our uh, tickets, and 
went to our gate and started boarding our plane. It was a really small plane, it was the one with the propeller, like on the sides with like the engine. It wasn't that loud once it like starts, once you're in the sky. But I just fell asleep, I just put my head down and fell asleep. It's really hard to go to sleep and it hurts your neck when you wake up because like it's uncomfortable. But after that, we on that flight we went to Beograd, Serbia, which is the capital of Serbia, I think. And well, as soon as we got there, like literally got there, got off the plane, and we went to our gate. They're already boarding, which is really quick. Cause I, they really want to wait. So we just went boarding and boarding, and like after, like after every flight, we just boarded and boarded the plane. So we after that, when we got to Belgrade, Serbia, we took a flight to Dusseldorf, Germany. Funny name, right? Uh, when we came to Bosnia, we took a flight to Frankfurt, Germany. But when we go, when we went back, uh, we took, we went to Dusseldorf. I've never been there. Sounds pretty funny, but the airport was pretty cool. I had like a uh, giraffe in the middle of it. Like, not a real one, but it was pretty cool. And after that, we took a eight and a half hour flight to Chicago. And on that flight, we had a really good meal. I had some chicken, and potatoes, and all that stuff. And the uh, entertainment was really good because it was the, the entertainment was uh, we had a touchscreen like. TV on our in front on our seat, and it was really cool because I had like a lot of movies. You could listen to music and uh, TV shows. I watched Thirty Rock, I watched um, Lincoln Lawyer, and I watched The Chronicles of Narnia, The Dawn Treater, like the 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 newest one that came out. Um, I liked them all. The Thirty Rock was pretty funny because it was after where um the Tina Fey I don't know, I forgot her character's name. She uh, wanted to uh, adopt, and then uh, like the lady came to. Uh, like evaluator if she was like ready to like a, if she was ready to adopt a baby it was pretty funny i liked it uh lincoln or was a really good movie is like uh if you if you guys saw if you guys haven't seen law abiding citizen you can sh check that out they're kind of similar movies um if like they, they kind of follow each other the like he's defending like uh his client and his client is saying that he didn't kill this like one woman but when he did um, and he doesn't know that, but then he, like, at the end of, the, like, during the end of the movie, he, like, puts the pieces to the puzzle together, and then he figures out that his client is a murderer, and the only reason he hired him is because, um, he know okay, the beginning of the movie, he puts this one guy to jail, that he killed the, the woman, but it wasn't really, like, this guy named Martinez, he didn't really kill the woman, it was the guy he's defending now, like, later in the movie, and then he puts the pieces to, uh, pieces of the puzzle together because Martinez said that he saw another guy at the bar like he was at a, like a strip club or something and um, He saw a lender woman at the bar. I mean another his the woman that he was with he saw her Talking to another man at the bar and that other man was the guy who killed her But but Martinez got blamed for killing her while the other man um that he the the guy that the lawyer is defending he actually killed her and he put the wrong man in prison and his dad told him that the worst thing about uh, being a lawyer is like putting an innocent man in jail, and that's why he was, that's what he was afraid of. So the game's uh, over, guys. I uh, we went 14 and three. Excellent game for just sniping. And thanks, guys, for watching. Please subscribe.